It's one of YouTube's most successful amateur videos. Posted about three months ago, it's averaged nearly one million views per week. So have you seen it? Oh my God. Welcome to Collateral. It just depends how close to ground level you are. Can you see the hurt? Can you see the pain? Can you feel the rain? Now the video itself is about eight minutes long. If you want to watch it now, go to YouTube and key in Battle at Kruger. But if you want to watch a shortened version and get our take on why we think it's been so popular, stay with us. Ooh. Look at this. The crocodile's taking that baby away. Oh my god. The two crocodiles. They're gonna lose it. Oh my god. Oh, they're gonna fight over it. No, they're gonna come and try and chase the lion, but I think they're too late. I think you're right. They're way too late now. They're too late. You're too late. Okay, so why is it that this video has been viewed more than 12 million times? Is it simply because the events depicted are so dramatic and unexpected? Ooh. Ooh. As breathtaking as that footage is, it's still the case that there are plenty of videos that show a buffalo attacking lions to rescue its young. But what might be what makes this one so magnetic and so appealing is what happens now. The calf's still alive. It is? Yeah, it's trying to get away. It's standing up. Perhaps it's the fact that the entire herd joins together to save the cat that makes the video so appealing. Notice, too, that at first it's just a single buffalo that takes actions against the lions. And it's his success, if we can anthropomorphize a bit here, that seems to spur the herd to its own future heroics. In routing the lions, the herd reveals to itself a new set of capabilities. And with that new set of capabilities, a new set of possibilities. Are we just killing time? We can learn a lot from animals. Know what I'm saying? <laughs>